Hi everybody, I'm Ryan with Wildwood Outdoors and today I will be testing and reviewing the Condor Hudson Bay. But before I do that, I will be giving you the specifications on this knife. The overall length is 13 inches with a blade length of 8.5. It is made out of 1075 high carbon steel. The spine is 3 16ths of an inch thick and it has a wooden handle. The grind is a full flat grind with a convex bevel. Given that information, I would classify the knife as a large survival knife or a good one tool option. Being a one tool option involves doing a lot of tasks, so let's get started. The first part of the test is going to be chopping. The knife is 15 and a half ounces and it does have an eight and a half inch blade. So this knife should be able to chop well. So that was just kind of a big chopping test for the knife. Now I'm just going to take like a stick like this and try to take one chop and just penetrate through the whole thing. So the next part of the test is going to be batoning. I'm going to take this piece that I chopped earlier and I'm going to uh, baton through it with the Condor Hudson Bay. Uh, the knife is relatively thick, so this should be pretty easy going through this piece. And since it is long, you could probably baton through something twice the size. Also, if you wanted to see more batoning with this knife, you can check out my mallet making video. Alright, here it goes. So the final part of the test is going to be detail work. I'm going to take a piece that I was batoning earlier and make some feathers out of that. And I'm going to uh, make a tent stake out of that stick that I was chopping.
So overall the knife performed really well. Uh, chopping, it's it's pretty good. It's the best knife I have so far for chopping. Doesn't really compare with an axe or a hatchet, but it's a knife. Um, batoning, it it did well except for the beginning where I didn't have enough leverage and I had to readjust the knife. Feather sticking went well. Um, I did do two modifications to the blade right here and here. I've rounded it out so that it's not so so sharp on your hand when you're choking up. Um, so that really helps. The sheath is really nice. It's this pouch style sheath. Uh, it's leather and it's got this swivel on the back so that you can readjust it when you're sitting. The knife sits in there really well and I've, I haven't had it come out so far. So overall I really like the knife. It's got nice long blade that's good for chopping and batoning but also can do finer tasks well too if you make that simple modification. Um, so yeah, it's my go-to survival knife right now. That could change, but so far it's my number one. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more outdoor videos.